your brain! You guys take out Dr. Black's guards. Consider them taken. I'll wrap up lock and load before they can deliver that thing to Dr. Black. We have no idea what that thing does, Eli. For all we know, it could be lunch. Somehow I doubt it. We can bring them down together. Dude, you had it backwards. Looks like we're the ones headed down. Killer. Stopping them with glimmer and suds. Then allow me. Blow them away, Bluster. Just keep riding. I'll do it. 
deal with Dr. Black. Why didn't you do that before? I didn't mean to blow it up. As long as Lock and Load won't be bringing it to Black, I think we can call it a win. Though I'd like to be celebrating with the rest of my slugs. Don't worry, Eli. Slugs always find their way back home. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure when we get there, we'll find Burp and the others already at the clubhouse. Kicking back and relaxing. We've passed through this cavern dozens of times on our way home before. But somehow it seems different. Hmm, indeed. Last time I was here, the town was fat and happy. So it was, stranger. Until Munch showed up, at least. Munch? Coming to town, big as a boulder and dumb as a sack of hammers, and ate us out of house and home. Why not just kick the bum out on his, you know, uh, bum? Cause no one beats Munch! You and your slugs challenging Munch to a duo? If you leave this cavern and never come back when I beat you, then yeah, I'll duel ya. Uh, Eli? And not now, Trixie. I'm trash-talking. Ow! Trixie, what? You're slugs. You're a few short, remember? Uh, no problem. I'll lend you bludgeon. And Pronto will give you the honor of fighting with my Flancherorinkis and his nasty stank. No! <laughs> no ringers! You said you and your slugs gonna do much, and that's what you're gonna do! That is what you agreed to, Eli. <laughs> After Munch beats Eli Shane, Munch will be king of the caverns! <laughs> <sighs> Smart move there, Eli. Now I gotta duel a guy with a bandolier of powered-up bruisers, while Burpee and the others are probably back home, taking a bath. You guys really think you can get to the clubhouse and back with Burpee and the other slugs in time? We're already there, Eli. Wait! What? Burpee and other slugs! Much already told you! No ringers! 
Burpee's my slug. He's just not here. Yet. No. Too bad, because we duel now! Time for the legendary Mullinoid stall. <clears throat> you certainly have enjoyed those succulent leg parts. I believe a mouth-watering dessert would fill those final corners of your impressive stomach. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Much get it! You tried a legendary Molinoid stall? Well, it won't work! Much is smarter than he looks! Uh, and that is... not saying much. Thanks, Pronto. But I agreed to this duel. Glimmer and Suds here may not pack as much firepower as Burpee or Jules, but we can fight them off until Cord and Tricks get back. No problem, right? That's what you've got. <laughs> Tell him that you were responsible? Huh. I imagine that we'll become ghoul chow. <gasps> Brother, I believe that Dame Fortune has indeed smiled upon us. Because I cannot imagine anything making Dr. Black happier than turning Eli Shane's best slug into a ghoul. Got 
you now, hot stuff! Hey! Woo! I burned them all! Goody, I need a new pair of boots. Just pursue those vermin or I'll give you the boots! Sometimes I can't believe we're related. is right, boys. Where do you lads think you're going? <laughs> Anywhere we want, mall cop. <laughs> oh, lost her big brother. <laughs> Not for long. See, that's a nice mecha beast. <laughs> are useless, hit them with something else! Oh, and looking good! Yeah, My slugs aren't useless. I just gotta figure out the right way to use them. <laughs> Lather it up, suds! <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with sun. I'm confident that Dr. Black would be equally satisfied if we merely brought him the heads of the Shane Brack slugs. Dipped on the burning one. arrived. And just in time. I don't think we could have lasted another minute. Where's Burpee? Sorry, Eli. But if they're not coming, then... Maybe we can't win, 
Are you guys ready to go down trying? Slugs? Uh, yeah. No way! You lasted this long with two floppers? No way much is fighting slugs who can do that! Much is out of here! Don't listen to him. You guys aren't floppers. You did me proud. I'm glad you guys are okay. But where were you? Um... They were obviously just goofing off. That's what slugs always do when you're not watching. <laughs> Lucky for you, lazy slugs. Pronto was here to use his mighty brains and save the day. But what were you doing? Lazing around, goofing off. The Slug Terra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. Doesn't that lift your spirits? <laughs> hey, huh? <coughs> Once I work the bugs out of my zero-G machine, Slug Terra will own the air. Catherine's ideas about Sonics are worth listening to. Sound is invisible, but its effects can be powerful. <laughs> what about me, Professor? Aren't you gonna show Mr. Moneybags my invention? Aha. Uh -huh. Dr. Kolowski has been researching artificial slug technology. Sir, don't pay any attention to Quentin's unfounded research. Let me show you more about my work. I thought we told you never to come back here, you and your crazy robots. Oh, you'll never get rid of me. Your anti-gravity machine will never amount to anything, Tobias! <laughs> Nor will your pathetic sound amplifier. <laughs> now, let's talk about the future. My future, to be specific. We need help. As of this moment, all research will be directed by me. Eli Shane, we need you, now! The only science in this cavern is my science! Behold! My robo-slugs! Furia Cavern. Always wanted to see this place. Ah, science is vastly overrated. Pronto has no need for facts. I go with my gas. <laughs> and my gas tells me it's past my lunchtime. If these so-called scientists are such geniuses, where did they put all the restaurants? Where did they put all the people? And I don't see any slugs either. The slugs are all hiding. I'm Catherine McGregor. You're the one who called about the rogue scientist. Quinton's always been a little quirky. This time, he's crossed the line. Anyone try to stand up to this guy? We're scientists, not slug slingers. That's why we called you. Yeah, good point. I envision a world where the only slugs people use are my robo-slugs. To that end, 
anyone found with a live slug will be punished. I don't have to listen to this madness. I'm not finished yet! Yeah, actually, I think you are. I was hoping we could reason this out, but you're kind of beyond reason, aren't you? I prefer to say that I'm beyond your understanding, Eli Shane. Oh, yes. I know who you are. Then you know how I work. I'm gonna give you one chance to do the right thing and apologize to all these people. Otherwise... Otherwise, we do all... That's right. Oh, this will be fun. that nasty thing right off your shoulder. I think you just insulted my slugs. Bad idea. Species, Infernus. Attack modes, flash fire, Infernus, Nova Claw. Downloading countermeasures to RoboSlug Brain Matrix. <laughs> You were beaten before you began. I've downloaded databases on every slinger who's ever shot a slug. You, your friends, even your father, the great Will Shane. He'd have beaten you in a minute. Might take me too. Your father was a slug lover, just like you. <laughs> He successfully used that identical arachnid move in 17 different duels. Your attempt, however, has failed. And my robo-slugs will continue to triumph over your weak, disgusting slugs and tired old tactics. Then I guess I'll have to show you some new tactics. Uh, what? Uh, no match found. What, what is he? Smart slug slinging will beat mad science every time, Quentin. It's over. Over? Ha! You won't believe what I'll bring when I come back. Um, you're still here. Huh? Ha! That's right! You slink away, scoundrel, while your batters... No, uh, while your batters look for lunch. We better get ready for this guy. I sure don't think he's gone for good. He's probably back at his secret lab. Get real, Cord. You've been watching too many fiction vids. Not all scientists have secret labs. The great Eli Shane and his wonderful slugs thinks he has all the answers. Well, wait till he sees what mad science can do. I'll show him big like he's never seen. God, there must be some food around here. I, I, what is, oh, hang on, wait. Ah! I bet he's got some kind of super doomsday weapon he's gonna spring on us. Ha! Let him bring his super weapon of doom. Once Pronto fills his mighty stomachs, he will be the match of any foe. Now, a more pressing problem. Did anyone bring a can opener? <laughs> and my day just got worse. Oh, you have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Me? 
Stay alive! You can <laughs> Crawler slug, fireball defense. <laughs> Flopper slug. <laughs> no defense needed. I had to try. He's gotta have a weak spot. <laughs> Cheap shot, Trixie, but I don't have any weak spots. While you and your pathetic meatbag slugs are just one enormous weak spot! So what now? Hate to say it, but... Retreat! <laughs> That's it! Run, slug lovers! Run from my superior technology! You see? Not even Eli Shane can protect you from me! Well, that was humiliating. Nothing to be ashamed about. Quentin's got awesome tech, but that doesn't make him better. My hop rock couldn't even get near the guy. Hey, 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 uh, why are you beating that innocent rock there, Pronto? Perhaps I should pit this stubborn can against something harder, like your thick troll skull. Glad you made it away safely. But you aren't safe here with all that banging. Quiet, Pronto! I've got a place nearby where we can regroup. Ooh, a secret lab, perhaps? Oh, please. Uh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> all us scientists have secret labs. So what's the deal with Quentin? He really hates slugs. He doesn't just hate them. He's terrified of them. Really? That's good to know. Ever since the accident when we were kids. It was during a field trip to the slug biology department. Quentin always considered a locked door as a challenge. <laughs> he was in there for two days before they found him. <laughs> he was never the same since. And all his science has been about finding a way to live without slugs. Yeah, slugophobia. There's got to be an angle there. <laughs> ah, exasperating recalcitrant can! You frustrate me with your tenacious kin perimeter! Okay... Pronto, you're a genius! Yes? I am? Oh, yes! Of course I am! I think I figured out a way to beat Quentin. But we're gonna need some high-tech help. I believe we have that covered. And even more importantly, we need you to buy us some time. I've got a few ideas in that regard. This is boring. What's the point of being superior if I can't lord it over everyone? Eli Shane! I'm ready for round three! Are you? He's busy right now. But I've got something for you. <laughs> Ah, again with the anti-grav. When are you gonna learn? That's nothing compared to me. I don't even have to waste a robo slug on your pebble. As smart as you think you are, you still end up throwing rocks like a savage. Pitiful. Run, little savage. Run! You can't escape the superior man! And that's all you have to remember. But don't worry, Noodle. You're gonna do great. I have my doubts that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Tobias is down. I'm going in. Remember, just stall him. Don't try and be a hero. And don't get yourself hurt. Excellent advice. Ugh. Back to the drawing board! <laughs> 
<laughs> What's wrong, Tobias? Nothing clever to say. I've got something to say. Oh, this, this will, will be fun. <laughs> That must be Kate. Don't ever get into a shouting match with her. Cord, you about done? Good to go. Saddle up, guys. Time to take this big brain bully to school. Shane Gang style. Let me go, Quentin! Your harpy's voice was even less pleasant at 400 decibels. Put her down, Quentin! <laughs> Mecha Mech is gonna kick your Mecha Mech's iron butt! Drop her easy and raise your hands, Quentin. Shut you down. <laughs> that thing! I've been perfecting this suit for years. How long did you spend cobbling that wreck together? Five minutes? Forty-five minutes, smart guy. It will take me less time than that to disassemble it. Critical systems intact. Barely. with a triple combo. Ice attack. Infernus defense downloaded. Been there, done that. Retargeting. <laughs> Oh, yeah! High five, Trixie! You know, the thing about slugs is you have to find them, train them, take care of them. Why do all that when you can simply manufacture an endless supply? Which is exactly what I have! Big first coming in, dodge right! No, go left! Uh, my right or, or your right? Don't worry, Trixie. Cord, you've got another arm. Use it. Oh, man. Can I worry now? Just so you know, this plan has an 87% probability of ending in disaster. Eli's doing his part. We have to focus on ours. The question remaining is how much longer I extend your suffering. This big baby's not gonna keep walking for long. Well, technically, this is called a death hop. Losing control here. So am I. I am in complete control. Well, that's just embarrassing. I think I'll put you out of your misery. Try it! <laughs> Points for tenacity. Or is it just delusion? Either way, I want to look you in the eye when I break you in two. You thought we were building a robot to beat yours in 45 minutes? 
How dumb do you think we are? We were just building a can opener. And you were cocky enough to let me get close enough to do this. All yours, Noodle. <laughs> Flopper slug on me! Here, smart guy, where it all began. Where it ends, for you anyway. Gonna draw? Blaster's empty. I used all my slugs to get this far. Come here. I want to look you in the eye when I beat you. <laughs> when you beat me with your non-existent blaster and your imaginary slugs. Just because my blaster's empty doesn't mean I'm out of slugs. Huh? Nice work, guys. You didn't even have to transform. That was sweet, Eli. Glad this thing held together as long as it to say thank you oh that's a good start the magistrate's on his way i imagine you'll have volumes to say to him i, I know it's here <laughs> there must be an easier way to open a can of beans All yours. Hey, you're not my lawyer. Figured that out pretty quick. I heard you were smart. And you know, Quentin, I can use a few smart men. <laughs> <laughs> 